Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to review the Schmincker Horodam Aquarelle which is the artist grid watercolor from Schmincker. The company is based in Germany and they make really high quality watercolor. Their student grade paint is called the Academy. At the time of this review, Schmincker has a total of 139 colors for the Horodam Aquarelle lineup. You can get these paints in 5 or 15 ml tubes, in half pans, in full pans, and recently they have released this product called the Schmincker Aqua Drop. This is pigmented liquid watercolor in a 30 ml bottle and they have a total of 24 colors available. The price of the tubes, the pans and the sets, um, they will vary depending on where you buy them. Here in Singapore, they are more expensive compared to Daniel Smith, but the quality for Schmincker, it's right up there with Daniel Smith, M. Graham, Winston Newton, and all the big brands. Let's see what sort of information you can find on the tube. So you see the number four in the circle, that's the series for this color. Series 4 is the most expensive paint from Schmincker and Series 1 is most affordable. So typically for cobalt colors from Schmincker, it's very expensive and earth colors usually are from Series 1. This color that I was using earlier, magenta, this is from Series 3. And you see the 5 stars here, that's the light fast reading. Out of um, 5 stars, we have 5 stars. Cobalt colors are usually very light fast. And here we have 3 out of 5 stars, so this is not as light fast compared to this. But anyway, um, to really get a sense of how light fast these colors are, you have to test them yourself. And we have the transparent quality. This is semi-transparent. And that little triangle there, that is half filled with black, that means this is medium staining. And we have the pigment information. There are a few things I don't like about the tube. I mean the metal tube, not the paint. Uh, first of all, the tube metal, it seems to be a bit thin. So sometimes when I try to open by twisting, uh, I will actually twist the tube instead of opening the cap. And the cap, it doesn't have a lot of friction, so when it's tight, it can be quite challenging to open. Another thing is, if you're someone who likes to roll up your tube when the paint gets used up, if you were to actually roll up all the way, I have an example here. So when you roll it up all the way, you won't be able to see the name of the color. But of course, you can choose not to roll it up. Let's talk about the paint while we paint this sketch that I've drawn. So they have a good selection of colors. 139 is a lot and they have good yellow, reds and blues, the good primary colors. The thing that I really like about Schmincker is um, they have very beautiful uh, cobalt blues. Cobalt blue light, cobalt blue and cobalt blue deep. And you don't find cobalt blue tip with Daniel Smith. So the colors that I'm using right now, it's PY153 and PV42. The colors are very vibrant. Another thing I, that I really like about Schmincker is um, the tube paint, they dry really well in half pans. That means if you squeeze them into half pans, they will dry almost perfectly. And the colors, they blend really nicely, very beautifully, if you use the correct paper, of course. The paper that I'm using now, this is fluid watercolor paper. And it performs quite well with watercolor. Schmincker has two versions of popular earth colors like burnt sienna, burnt umber, the other version is called Transparent Sienna and Transparent Umber. There is also Yellow Ochre and Transparent Ochre. For Burnt Sienna, they are actually using PR101 and PBK9. For Transparent Sienna, they are using PR101. Many of the names for Schmincker watercolor is actually quite different from Daniel Smith. 
So Schmincker, they have a lot of Helio colors, which I'm going to show you in a minute. This color, for example, this is Helio Cerulean PB153. Other brands call this Thalo Blue. Most of the colors, when you squeeze them out from the tube, they are very soft and they flow really well. They are also very easy to mix with water. And when you squeeze them in pans, when they dry, they will shrink slightly. This is Cobalt Blue Deep, one of my favorite colors because of the granulation. This is PB74. According to the Schmincker brochure, they have 33 colors that have a light fast rating of 5 stars. 79 colors with a rating of 4 stars. 17 colors with a rating of 3 stars. 5 colors with 2 stars and 1 color with 1 star. There are 4 colors that are rated as not light fast. Overall, I would say they have a pretty good selection of light fast colors. All right, let's take a look at the sketch. So the colors that I've used today, they look very vibrant. We have pure yellow PY154. This is magenta PV42. This is phthalo blue. Oh, it's not phthalo blue. It's um, Helio Cerulean PB153. So if you want to buy Schmingle colors, uh, definitely look at the pigment rather than the name. That will really help you get the right color. And we have Cobalt Blue Deep. I really love the granulation here. Schmincker, by the way, has three different types of ultramarine. Ultramarine Blue, French Ultramarine, and Ultramarine Finest. So one is a bit warm, one has more granulation, and one is a bit cooler. This is pure yellow mixed with magenta. The colors blend really well with Schmincker. Here's a sketch painted with Schmincker Horodem Aquarelle as well. Colors are very vibrant. These are the three colors I used for the sketch. Turner's Yellow, Geranium Red, Delft Blue. These are possible color mixes. And here's another sketch. For this I used Pure Yellow again. And we have cobalt blue deep and magenta. The colors here are also very vibrant. This is 100% cotton handmade watercolor paper. And the colors, they blend very nicely. These are some of the color swatches that I have created using the Schmincker paint. So this is Chroman Yellow Hue Lemon PY175. Uh, Daniel Smith calls PY175 Lemon Yellow. And this is Aerolin Hue PY151. Daniel Smith's version is called Azo Yellow. So the naming is very different uh, across different brands. So let's see what are some of the good colors. Uh, pure yellow is great, PY154. Transparent yellow is good too, PY150. Aerolin Hue, PY151, that's a very uh, light, fast yellow as well. There are just too many colors for me to show you, so I'm just going to uh, talk about some of my favorites. We have magenta that I showed you earlier, PV42. Permanent Karma is nice. Quinacridone Red Light is nice as well. PR207. So we have a lot of beautiful reds. That's magenta. If you want a slightly um, less vibrant magenta, you can consider Quinacridone Magenta. This is PR202, which looks very similar to Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Magenta. Manganese Violet is very beautiful because of the granulation. I really like this color. Anyway, you can check out the full list of colors available from their brochure, which I'm going to link in the video description below. 
Now the real color swatches are going to be more beautiful compared to these um, color swatches from their brochure. So to conclude Schmincke Horodam Aquarelle, these are very high quality watercolor paint. I can recommend them very easily. I don't think you can go wrong with them. Um, I've not used the Student Grid Academy before, so I can't uh, say much about them. But for this, these are definitely top quality paint. Alright, so let me know in the comment section below what you think about Schmincker. If you uh, are also using these paints, I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!